Okay guys, today I'm going to show you the difference between the natural and the human induced greenhouse effect. Okay. This is called the greenhouse. Alright, so it's a common misunderstanding that the greenhouse effect is a bad thing. It's actually a very important thing. This wood regulates the temperature on our planet. And this is why we don't uh, freeze. Okay, this this is what keeps our planet at a livable temperature for us. Okay, so how does this work? First, you have to understand that we live on a sphere. Okay. Now. We've gone over the layers of the atmosphere, the troposphere, the stratosphere, the exosphere, the thermosphere. This is quite, goes quite far out off the surface of the earth. Okay. Now, the composition of the atmosphere itself is made of something called greenhouse gases. Okay, so greenhouse gases, the most common ones are carbon dioxide, which we breathe out, um, and water vapor, which is just uh, water and gas form. Okay, so what happens during the natural greenhouse effect is the sun is a constant source of heat bearing light. And the amount of light that is emitted towards the earth is constant. This is an important concept. It's constant. What isn't constant is our behavior. Okay? So the amount of light that is emitted and hits the surface of our planet is constant. But what isn't is our behavior. Okay, so that that's gonna make more sense in a second once you understand how the heat is trapped. So once the heat penetrates our atmosphere, it hits the exosphere, comes in, hits the surface of our planet. Okay, and just like any light, it's gonna bounce back up. Much of it will escape the atmosphere again and get lost into space. But much won't. Much will come back now. And you gotta remember this whole time, the sun is still cooking, sending heat, sending light towards the surface of our planet. So this is escaping and this is staying yeah so that that light comes in penetrates the atmosphere hits the air surface bounces back up goes back to the um, perimeter of the atmosphere much of it escapes much of it stays Okay, so the light that stays, there's always a consistent amount of heat that stays as a result because there's always a, a predictable and consistent amount of radiation that's escaping and radiation that's staying because of how thick our atmosphere is, the composition of those greenhouse gases, and a consistent amount of solar radiation coming from the sun. What happens during global warming is is uh, because of our doing okay so when you have greenhouse gas emissions artificial greenhouse gas emissions that are natural okay
this makes this wall, the atmosphere itself, thicker. Okay, so what's happening as a result, that sun is still coming. Okay, it's delivering a consistent amount of radiation. Okay, but what's changed is how thick the atmosphere is. Okay, just a tiny bit. Some people will tell you that we don't contribute that much greenhouse gases. We really don't. It's, 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 not, it's not that much of a difference, but just a small difference in how thick the atmospheric gases are has a huge effect on how much of this radiation escapes. Because when it comes in, it's still escaping, but a little bit less is escaping. And a couple of degree changes on our planet can have huge effects on ecosystems all over the planet. Okay, this is like the uh, primary reason why the polar ice caps are melting. Okay, so there's the temperature difference isn't that high. But just very, very, very small changes in temperature has huge effects on our climate all over the world. Okay, where does it come from? It comes from industry, cars, the burning of fossil fuels. Okay, it actually comes a lot from cow farts. Okay, surprisingly, it's a huge contributor. The major greenhouse gases are water vapor, which of course is just gas in water form. Okay. That's already there. CO2, carbon dioxide. This is pretty natural too. And then a really bad one is methane, which is carbon, hydrogen, four. Huge contributor of the unnatural greenhouse effect otherwise known as global warming. That's, think about uh, methane as being a very thick blanket. Okay, so this is the greenhouse effect uh, and the unnatural greenhouse effect, also known as global warming. Just to rehash, greenhouse effect is natural. We need it, okay? But the thicker we make these gases, the less heat that's gonna, the less radiation is going to escape, the more heat that's gonna get trapped, okay? And it's not much, it's just a little bit but just that little bit can increase the temperature of the earth on average by, you know, three, four, five degrees, which has huge impacts on climates all over the world. Okay, thanks guys.